Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope everybody's doing good today. So there is so much news going on right now, especially in the celebrity world. Bunch of drama. And we also have the never-ending Dragon Ball tea series, which is the candy situation with Tamar, SWV, Latasha from Escape, etc. So what's going on now is that Candy is also speaking on it, no pun intended, on the situation concerning Latasha. Now, if you watch my live stream Friday, I had played for you guys Latasha's video response to Candy. And in part of that video response, Latasha was clearly making fun of the way Candy sings. In that clip that went viral from the Royal Housewives of Atlanta where Candy was singing to all the other ladies, and they were basically looking at Candy like she was crazy. Go ahead, girl. That the blow to my chest would come. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> and so Candy decided to address that situation and let Latasha know that, you know, what you're doing is not cool because you're definitely eating off my voice. And don't forget that I've had the number one gospel song in the country that's where you're trying to get to so y'all go ahead and check out what candy had to say to latasha check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary which is whatever whatever i don't i don't really care uh but tasha actually made a joke about my voice in her video in her speak on it <laughs> But they needed you to sing on her song on the Escape album. No, yeah, no, 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 no. No, this is the part that is like really corn, corny of her to me. You are trying to clown a person's voice whose voice is leading on half the hits that is your claim to fame. The biggest hit that you've ever been on, which is just kicking it, is the voice that you've been clowning or that you're clowning in your video. I'm cool, you know, I can go back and forth with other people about, or I don't even go back and forth with them really, but other people can try to make jokes about my voice or, or whatever. But me and you are in a group together. We supposed to make money together. We supposed to hit the stage together. You've been hearing my voice all these years as you making money off of it, right? But you on your video, trying to make jokes about my voice. The same voice who has accomplished more than you with your amazing voice that you try to put out there that you have. Like I've been on other hits that's bigger than you. I mean, oh, and honestly, and I know y'all be trying to say it's an ego thing. I only bring up accomplishments when I have to feel like I'm defending myself. Let's be clear. I've already had a number one billboard gospel single, Candy. I'm gonna post up this picture so you can see me, not Escape. I have had a number one, Stay Prayed Up, was number one on the gospel, on Billboard's gospel chart when it came out. Yes, my voice. I've had a number one gospel song. Something that right now is what you are trying to do. Me, me and my voice that you tried to clown. We are in a group together, sis. I don't clown my group members' voices. I don't clown when they mess up. We have plenty of arguments. We fall out all the time. But it's like you is trying to join on the bandwagon of other people and clowning your group member that goes on stage with you and make money with you. How did how they do that at? You, that's what you're doing. It's stupid for you to do that. And then on top of that, yeah, people been clowning me, but lately they've been clowning you too for singing them same tight runs you've been singing since 1993. Just for you. I need you to play that clip that people been, I'm gonna give it to you. They, they've been clowning you too. But have I been trying to go online like, oh, she's saying them same tight runs. It's not like I never thought it. 
It's not like I never thought it. I would have never said that. But since you want to go and throw in mud at each other, that is so stupid to me. You know, I feel like we should keep our stuff to the facts or the drama, but your opinion or trying to laugh. Are you laughing? <laughs> and all, all, all of these people who want to make jokes about my voice, who all of y'all sing so great and y'all sing so amazing, but having caught no headline without me in these last weeks or months or years. I don't know. Catch a headline without me. Please, please. I, I just, I just, I mean, I just don't think that's godly. Y'all please get her album when it comes out on Good Friday. It's called Conversations with God. I'm like, her conversations with God must only be about me. Because those are the conversations you're having with everybody. It's only about me. I mean, I need her album to blow up so she can be at peace. And she ain't got to mess with us no more. Because God knows I don't want to sing with her no more. God knows I don't. I'm, I'm tired of the back and forth. I'm tired of being her villain in her story. I am tired. All right, so you guys just heard what Candy had to say. And in my personal opinion, I agree with Candy 100%. Now, keeping it real, does Candy have like the strongest voice in Escape? I don't think so. I think Latasha's voice is definitely stronger than Candy's. But Candy has a very unique voice herself. And Candy has been putting in work. And like I said, even if people feel like she's not a good singer, she's a damn good songwriter. And, you know, it, she's right. Like, how can you try and climb my voice? One, we're in a group together. Two, you've been eating off my voice for the past 20 years. Because Candy has sung a lot of lead songs, especially on the first Escape album. Because I remember that album back in the day. And you heard Candy all through that album. I just feel like there's a lot of resentment in their relationship, mainly coming from Latasha. I think Latasha felt like because she has the strongest voice in the group and she wanted to go solo first that she feels like she should be in the position where Candy's at. Remember, Candy and Tiny and Tamika and all them, they didn't want, they weren't thinking about going solo. They wanted to be in a group. Latasha decided to leave first. And so once Latasha left, Candy was like, well, fuck it. You know, I write songs. You know, I'm a, I'm a writer. Let me write myself some songs and drop me an album. Candy's album dropped. She did very good with her album. And then she went on to write for other major groups like TLC, Destiny's Child. And it just seemed like Latasha was never able to get off the ground. And I feel like she still has a lot of animosity towards Candy about that. But my thing is, let's keep it real. If it was not for Candy doing The Real Housewives of Atlanta, nobody would really be thinking about Escape like that. Maybe via Tiny but it's really Candy and her connections at Bravo that was able to get Escape a spinoff when they did the first Escape show. And because of Candy willing to be the bigger person and reunite with both of these sisters who for years trash talked her. Let's keep it real. You know, Tamika said a lot of shady stuff about Candy on the radio. And, you know, they were able to forgive each other and move on. And Tamika apologized to her. And Tamika even apologized to her publicly, which was a blessing. <laughs> you know, if you're going to embarrass me publicly, you need to apologize to me in public. And Tamika did that and they were able to move on. So if it was not for Candy willing to bury the hatchet and give everyone you know, a second chance at a, you know, I'm talking about with escape. And I'm not diminishing what everybody else is doing on the side, but I'm talking about as far as the escape situation and TV shows and, you know, and TV deals and stuff like that. All of that is compliments of Candy. So it's very interesting that she has a lot of animosity towards Candy, but it seems to not be an issue when it comes to getting paid via Candy's brand. Because nobody would be checking for this show if it wasn't for Candy. When it comes to television and reality television, Candy definitely has that on lock. Okay? Now, when it comes to, like, touring and singing and selling out shows, maybe SWV has that more unlocked. I'm not sure. But I know when it comes to anything TV-related, that's definitely Candy's arena. 
So now I want to go ahead and segue onto another story that's currently going viral. If you guys don't know, Lotto is currently getting drug all over Twitter, mainly by the barbs. They are going in on her because Apple Music just released that they are signing Lotto to a radio deal. So this entire situation is crazy. So Apple Music posted the following and and Lotto retweeted them. And they said, now boarding 777 Air. Get ready for the first episode of At Lotto 777 Radio. This Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on Apple Music 1 with special guest at Chloe Bailey. So they also provided a video trailer. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this right here. Welcome aboard 777 Air. I'm Big Lotto and I'll be your flight attendant today. Please make sure to put the BS on airplane mode and leave all your baggage at home. Cause we going outside, baby. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. All right, so y'all just saw that trailer. And like I said, a lot of people, mainly the barbs, are not feeling this. Queen Radio is currently trending. People are saying that all she's doing is biting Nikki and the other girls. So the main reason why they're accusing her of biting is that about 10 days ago, she dropped a song with Mellow Bucks um, called Boom Part 2. And in that video, a lot of people were comparing it to Glorilla and Cardi B and even saying that Lotto was wearing the same ripped jeans as Cardi B. She was also throwing shots at the bars by wearing her um, cheetah print panties because they accused her of only owning one pair. Um, and then they were also saying that she's trying to be gangsta and she's trying to surround herself around these New York chicks because she's scared of Ice Spice's rise because Ice Spice is just blowing up out of nowhere. And so then Lotto addressed it. She's really upset. She addressed it. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Y'all say I'm copying, folks. I go show y'all that I've been doing shit. And now I'm bothered. Y'all saying a bitch want to be gangster. I clear it up. I'm bothered. Bitch, I'm dead. Bitch, I'm dead again. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The fuck? Leave me alone. I'm really finna stop letting y'all like <laughs> think this shit. Like, that high road shit, I don't know if that shit for me. (laughs) Please. All right, so y'all just saw Lotto's response. And then three days ago, she came out with another video with another New York artist called Lola Brooks. And in that video, it's Lola, Lotto, and Young Miami. They're both in the video. And once again, people are saying that, you know, this is a Southern girl. Why is she all of a sudden working with all these New York rappers? You know, is it because she's trying to take a shot at Ice Spice? So this whole situation is a mess. And then now we see this trailer for, you know, Lotto Radio. And people are saying she bit that clearly off of Nikki. And even in this video, she's dressed as a stewardess on an airline. And they're saying that, you know, Sweetie did the same thing. In Sweetie's video called Closer featuring her, and she dropped this video a year ago, she was on there talking about this is Icy Airlines, and she was dressed like a stewardess. So people are just like, you know what, at this point, Lotto has no originality. She's copying all the other girls. Even the fact that she was able to reinvent her name and turn it into this whole jackpot lottery winner, when that wasn't even initially what her name stood for. Her name used to be Mulatto. Now she's all about, you know, the lottery, when that wasn't the gist of her name initially. So a lot of people are calling her out for this. But like I said, it's mainly the barbs that are really upset because they feel like, once again, she's biting Nikki. Now, Nikki also came out. She dropped a small video snippet of her rapping. And then she also posted, are the barbs even real? And she put hashtag trendsetters, which to me was a shot at Lotto. Um, I think Nikki is tired of it as well. So y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary.
Yeah. All right. So you guys just saw the video. You guys just saw the tweets. So like I said, some people are definitely not here for it. And she is definitely being drugged right now all over Twitter. It's going to be interesting to see if she's able to pull the same numbers. I didn't really listen to Queen Radio like that. Um, I don't think I'm going to be listening to Lotto Radio. I'm just not really into anything celebrity-based when it comes to media because a lot of times they don't speak real. They're trying to keep industry relationships. They're not talking about anything that really affects regular people. She's not going to be on her radio show talking about the environment, the water crisis. So, so personally, I won't be tuning in, but, you know, good luck to her and her radio show. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the whole Soldier Boy situation. So if you guys do not know, honey, Soldier Boy is in his feelings, honey. He is out here angry. He's upset. So there is this Instagram page called 856 Entertainment. And so last Wednesday, they went around their community and they started asking people in southern New Jersey, um, basically, what do you guys choose? $250 in food stamps or dinner with Soulja Boy? And overwhelmingly, all of the women basically picked having food stamps. They're like they'd rather have their food stamps than sit and dine with Soldier Boy. So once this video went viral on Twitter and on TikTok, Soldier Boy got so upset. He took the social media and he cussed everybody out, caught them a bunch of broke ass bitches, said he would never take them out on a date anyways. Y'all go ahead and check this out. This is a mess. But they have food stamps or dinner with Soldier Boy. Food stamps. Food stamps? What the fuck? 250 food stamps. 250 food stamps? I'm going to pick the food stamps only because Soldier Boy is not nobody. I can have dinner by myself. Food stamps. The food stamps. Food stamps. I don't give a fuck about that corny ass nigga. 250 and food stamps. I don't give a fuck about no Soldier Boy. 250 and food stamps. To give me them food stamps, I can't make some chicken alfredo. I didn't do that Soldier Boy at least since I was 12. <laughs> give me them food stamps. I'm taking food stamps. Fuck that nigga. Who is that? 250 and food stamps. 250 in food stamps. Food stamps. I can finesse 250K out of Soldier Boy. Fuck are you talking about? 250 in food stamps? Be for real. Bitch, I'll take the food stamps. All right, 250 the food stamps. Food stamps. <laughs> 250. Soldier Boy, like, he's what? not even relevant no more. Like, come on, let's, let's, next question. Y'all think I'm broke, Broke ass, ass, I never touch our hoes. New Jersey, nigga. What you talking about? Y'all think I'm gonna do shit? Y'all broke ass Y'all couldn't come out with dinner with me if y'all wanted to. Y'all nigga got me up. Boy, y'all bitch ass better start playing with my name. I ain't never coming to y'all see. Alright, so you guys just saw the video and you guys saw Soldier Boy's response. He was not here for it. About two years ago, back in 2021, it was a question that went viral around the internet where, you know, basically the question was, would you take 500 k or have dinner with Jay-Z. And so a lot of people were saying that they want to have dinner with Jay-Z because he's a billionaire. They could get a bunch of game from him. He'd be willing to help out other people. So overwhelmingly, most of the internet wanted to have dinner with Jay-Z as opposed to the 500K. Well, after that went viral, Jay-Z chimed in and basically told the internet, take the 500K. Meaning he ain't about to help none of you niggas, okay, figure out a business strategy. Take the money and keep it pushing, get out his damn face. So I don't know, honey, Jay-Z ain't trying to, you know, give no free business advice. And Soldier Boy's upset that people don't see him as a savvy businessman, which he is. Soldier Boy has, you know, reinvented himself a thousand times. He does have money. He was the first to do a lot of stuff. But I just think he's just very loud and he, he tends to go off the rails. And maybe that's why these women are scared to go out to dinner with him. Maybe if he was wasn't as loud and you know constantly cussing folks out maybe he would have got chosen a bit more but until he can bring down that attitude a bit I think most people would take the $250 with the food stamps I'm just saying so anyways y'all that is the tea that's going down today right now on social media feel free to leave a comment below let me know your thoughts on all of these stories how do you guys feel about the candy and latasha dragon ball tea drama how do you guys feel about the barbs and a lot of people calling out lotto on her copying you know she's taking a lot from the girls but she's not really giving any real originality are y'all here for lotto's radio show y'all not here for it and then last but not least if you got a chance 
Would you pick dinner with Soldier Boy or $250 in food stamps? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.